Hey guys, what is up? It's Galactic Starlight Gaming. Welcome back to another episode of um, our Minecraft single player survival Let's Play. I have brought home the donkey that I mentioned in the last episode. And as you can see, I've got some name tags and some levels. So let's name our horse and our donkey and our dog. I have been thinking about some names for all of them. And the horse I have decided is going to be named Quicksilver. Uh, I only want one of these in here. No, not Quicksilver, just Plain Silver, because he's he. I could name him Quicksilver, but that was uh, Flip's name for his horse in his Hardcore series. So it's just gonna be Silver, um, cause he's white like the Lone Ranger's horse, and I like the Lone Ranger. So Silver, and the dog shall be named Jock, just because I like the name. And our donkey shall be named Petronella. After a donkey in a collection of animal stories called Animals You Will, ne you will Never Forget. So, Petronella. So, there we go. We have our donkey. And... Come on. This one is silver. Let's name silver. Yay! And Petronella, come down here so I can name you and you can officially be Petronella. Come on, Petronella. Yay, she has a name. Now I will run down. And we can name Jock. And it will be beautiful. And then there shouldn't be anything preventing us from getting on to the meat of today's episode. Which will be, of course, heading into the nether and hopefully finding another fortress. So, I'm just going to re-equip all of my lovely diamond enchanted gear, which I had taken off because, um... I was going to the village and I didn't want to lose any of it. I just didn't... I didn't... It wasn't time to use it yet. So, we can re-equip all of this. And then it will be time to head off into the nether after I clear out my inventory. So, I will catch you then. Alright, we are just about ready. So, let's go over our gear. We have our sword, our, pi or our pick, our axe, our shovel, a flame infinity bow that I got while enchanting that I forgot to tell you about in my last video. Um, some blocks of cobblestone specifically, so a crafting table, a hay bale you know, for MLGs if it's necessary, and then we've got our food, which consists of pork chops, golden apples, and uh, two stacks of beef, some extra iron in case any of our iron tools break, um, an iron pickaxe in case I ever want to take anything that I don't want to silk touch, some wood for crafting sticks and other tool ingredients, an extra shovel, an extra stack of cobblestone, and an, ex an arrow for our infinity bow. So with that, nothing remains. Oh, come on, why is it laggy? Anyway, as I was saying, nothing remains but to flip this lever here and come on in here to the nether portal. Yes, let's go. Hopefully we have another fortress not too far off. I honestly don't really remember what our nether spawn looked like. Come on. Here we go. Alright, let's see what we got. Ooh. This isn't the best. I wonder how many blocks are between us and the lava. Looks like we have a soul sand valley right over there. But for the most part, we appear to be in nether waste. There's a piglin. I forgot to mention that this gold is for trading with piglins, but you could probably have figured that out on your own. I don't like the sound of that ghast. Well, I guess, since there's, um, nothing really of interest as of yet, I will just cut away and come back when there is. 
so I guess I'll be seeing you. Okay, folks, I think it's a little bit of an exciting moment, because what we are going to do now is we are going to try and tame a strider. Okay, how is it you, you ride them? I, I know you have to feed them and make them... I, I honestly am not sure how you, it is you're supposed to tame a strider. Do you mount them? Come on. Do I get to mount you? Maybe I need more of this stuff? I, I don't know how it works. I might have to actually go look it up. There are guests around, I think, and it's making me nervous. How do I get on you? I might have to look it up, so I'll be back in a moment. Turns out all we have to do is place the saddle on him, and then we can ride him, and we can get out our little fishy hook. And he'll go wherever we tell him to, so... Ah! Why are we on fire? Oh, we walked into the lava that was too high, so... Let's try to avoid doing that, huh? Whoops! I got off. Alright. We can do a little nether adventuring now. Wait, why are you moving? What does boost mean? Oh, you can make him go faster. That's fun. Alright, let's head off across the lava. Ooh. And hope we don't run into any guests. But I'm currently looking for an, um... A, uh, a salt, I'm looking for a basalt delta, actually, so I will just come back to you when I find them, I guess. This is so much fun. This is actually epic. But I have to be very careful not to hit the jump key, because that would kill me. At least it would while I'm on lava, so yeah, I guess I will just... Keep looking for a basalt delta and come back to you when I find one. Guys, we have found something even better than a basalt delta. Yes, we have found a nether fortress and it didn't even take that long. Okay, funny story, I actually found a basalt delta the moment I stopped recording the last clip, but I was gonna explore it just a little bit before recording again, but then there were too many magma cubes and it was not fun at all, so I came over here and look at this! This is epic! We can get our blaze rods this episode, which I was not at all... I was not at all, um... I was not at all... I don't know what, what I'm trying to say. I was not at all... Come on, can you get up there, please? No, why can't you get up there? I was not at all hopeful of finding another fortress this episode, but we did it regardless. I regret to make the announcement that I forgot to check on the status of my lovely enchanted golden boots and hats, so they kind of broke. So, yeah, that's a little bit of a disappointment. Those had some pretty great enchants, but <sighs> unfortunately, that's just something you've got to deal with, because gold is not the greatest. So, I will just have to make myself new gold helmet, since I cannot, obviously, just run home for another one. So, yeah, that's that. So that's just a little bit of an update, and I will see you in a bit. People, we are being scammed. Yes, that's what's happening here, we are being scammed. Look, look at all of this stuff we've got from the Nether Fortress. I had to take my diamond armor off because it was breaking, by the way, and unfortunately I wasn't paying attention and my enchanted gold gear was uh, broke. So, uh, <laughs> a little sheepish about that, but back to the main topic. We are being scammed, and you want to know how? I have searched this entire nether fortress, and sure, I got 48 blaze rods, but what's the point of blaze rods if there's no, not even one piece of nether wart? How are you supposed to make potions with the blaze rods if there's no nether wart? And you might say, oh, galaxy, but you can still make eyes of ender with the blaze rods that go kill the ender dragon, but that's not the point. We can't kill the ender dragon without potions, can we? I mean, some people could, but not losers like us.
Okay, that's my Technoblade impression. What did you think? But yeah, I'm kind of disappointed that there was no... Ah! Wow, bad timing. Really bad timing. I am really disappointed that there was no nether wart in this fortress. There weren't even any diamonds either, or no chests, which I was really hoping... I was really hoping to find chests with... Get out of my face, seriously, dude. I was really hoping to find chests with di diamonds. Like, well, chests with anything, but specifically diamonds. But no, no chests for us. So, yeah, kind of disappointing, to say the least. But I think we might just... Well, I don't really want to stand on the edge, because that's how I died last time I tried to escape another fortress. I think we're just going to ender pearl right down there. There we go. Escaped the fortress, no harm done. Let's mount up our little strider and go home and survey the loot. And my next episode is probably going to be a mining and building focused episode because I have, not going to lie, I have had my fill of the nether for a while. So I think we are just going to mount up and I'll be seeing you. Okay, guys, we're back here in the overworld. I've got my stuff put away, somewhat organized, and man, was this one, uh, one episode. I have, it has been, um, it has been stressful, to be honest. But what I've been thinking we can do to end off this episode is, I've brought back quite a few ender pearls and some, um, some blaze rods, so I thought a great thing for us to do would be to um, make ourselves an ender chest or two, just for some extra storage. We can keep our like valuables and stuff in there, or stuff we're, we're going to want at a moment's notice. So yeah, I think what I'm going to do is make myself an ender chest or two, and um, I think uh, the next episode is probably going to be a little bit more of a taking it easy episode. I'm probably going to... Do a whole bunch of mining over the weekend, and um, then sort of relax and do some building in the next episode, because I haven't done that in a little while, so... I mean, it's not been that many episodes since I did building, but it's been a long time in real life. Since I've just chilled and done some building, and I just wasted my water. Uh, moving on. So yeah, so I think that's what the next episode is going to be, so I'm just gonna sit here and mine a, a bit of obsidian, and then we can have ourselves an ender chest. Um, another thing that I'm going to want to do soon is get some sort of a villager trading system in place, because I need mending on all of my stuff, because, yeah, as you saw, my diamond stuff is nearly broken, and that's, that's not something we can have. So, just one more piece of obsidian, and then we can go make ourselves an ender chest. Or maybe we should make ourselves two. I don't know. I think we're probably just going to start with one for now. I might make another one later. But, so yeah, let's get this done. I have deposited our blaze rods and ender pearls safely here in the house. Uh, here we go. And... Do -do, blaze powder and eye of ender and an ender chest yes there we go i can put these back for now i cannot wait to start brewing but i'm just going to have to unfortunately where would a good place be for the ender chest to sit for right now i think i'm gonna move this sign put the ender chest right there by the door and then, where does the sign go? It's right here. You can crouch place the sign right there. Mm. Honestly, not sure if I like that. Mm, yeah, jury's still out on that. But, hey, it'll do for now. So, I'm not exactly certain what we want to keep in there for now. But at least we have it. So... With that, I think I'm going to have to call it an episode, guys. So please be sure to like if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you are brand new to my channel. Comment if you have any ideas, suggestions, or feedback. And with that, I will see you in the next one. Galactic Starlight Gaming, out.